Welcome back, everybody. It's been a long time, Egg. It's been a very long time. I don't even know how many people were around back when I was streaming this, but welcome back to Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. We're on day three, and uh, Jill's career as, you know, the ultimate bartender is, you know, just beginning. The ultimate bartender. Oh, no, yeah. That she, when, when did she go to Hope's Peak Academy, huh? Your membership to shut. What? I never. Wow. You can tell how long it's been since I last streamed this because now I understand that's a reference. Let me just. Let me just. This hand of mine glows with an awesome power! Its burning grip tells me to defeat you! Take this! My love, my anger, and all of my sorrow! Shining Finger! Alright, that probably didn't sound too good because it was like playing over the other music. Anyway, we'll automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account is at least $800 by then. I think I'm good. Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kara Mickey's blog. Oh yeah, that's the name of the the, the pop idol, wasn't it? Ka Kira Kira Miki. All right, say it with me, chat. Everybody, Kira Miki. Kira Miki. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, this was fun. All right, our cat talks. I, I'm just like slowly remembering everything. Is it possible to have nostalgia for a game that you've still been? I forgot about the slut shirt. Jeez, apparently they sell these. Huh. Tasha, thanks for the host. How are you? How's everybody doing? Uh, this is probably the last stream I'm gonna do for this week. Ooh, should I just buy the poster? I could tear one off any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what Jones germs they have. What Jones? That's a good point. This is the Metal Gear Solid font, Nuclear Land. All right, I'm gonna go buy the single. Eh? A magazine with all things idols has a download code for your love as a drug. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go buy the song so Jill doesn't get distracted. Let's do it. Easy. I got so much money. Mulan T. Hopefully that Mulan remake is good. Assorted cartridges. Hey. They're games no collector wants, but they're still nice for displaying. I have tons of those. I have so many of those. Uh, Windy has no idea what that means. Uh, no idea which which means. Kira Miki? Oh, right! Uh, Kira Miki is this idol in the game. Uh, pop idol. Who we met at the bar the other day, and we got her drunk right before her performance. Jeez, $300 for a poster. I mean, I, I know people who have spent that much for posters. It's not out of the ordinary. Well, it is out of the ordinary for, you know, like a regular poster, but no special ones. Uh, Tasha's tired ass. Me? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm playing this right now. Um, today might have been a co-op day with either Nash or Brad, but I found out I'm not going to stream tomorrow, so... Uh, I thought we'd just like end the week out with relaxing uh, cyberpunk bartending action, so... Did that idol really show up? Or is she like the ghost? Hey! Oh, that idol did show up. She was great! Everybody get your vacation juice ready. Vac vacation juice. I need to find that picture. Animal Crossing calls alcohol this obviously alcoholic beverage vacation juice. Uh, Danger You. Dangerous Opinions. Right, forums! Every morning, Jill does this thing where she browses her little iPad. And, uh, you know, just gets ready for the day. This is a cute game. It really is! Look at her! This is the main character. It's Jill. It's almost 4 a.m. We're Tasha. It's Tasha! Don't let me keep you up. Be responsible. I won't have people losing sleep over me. That's pretty late. Uh, or it's early. Yeah, it depends. I, I think I remember... I, I did watch a little bit of my last um, stream of this to catch up a little bit. I didn't pay too much attention because I know I was at work. But still. 
In the last thread, I think somebody went to the Kirimiki concert with their girlfriend? And then wasn't sure whether or not they wanted to go steady? Well, let's see the results of that. In the last thread, Anon hates fun. I want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being a guy in Danger You? Oh, what's wrong with being a guy in Danger You? Why do you care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off! Dudes, in Danger You. I guess everybody's a girl here. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070 X, you stupid idiots don't care about penny shit like this. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy! I like to imagine this one was Toko. <sighs> Some dude, thanks for the host. How you doing, man? Uh, I've seen this game before. It's very relaxing. Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official Danger You meetup. Has anyone ever done... Anyone in the chat, have you ever done an online meetup? I fear... I fear those things. You never know who's out there. Although I did go to, like, a... A beach, like, board game meetup once. But that's because it was, like, a known board game community. More like a club than anything. Shutheart's been playing Smash. You just faced the Donkey Kong. What, as Hero? Does he counter him? I need to know Hero counters. Like I wanna, like I wanna be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of my friends. Dude, not cool. Okay, next thread I'm gonna moderate the fuck out of this. No more shit posting. This thread is closed. Well, we got Mickey Concert 4 right here. We'll see if that actually happens. Getting some snack. Ah, oh, Doof met his girlfriend through an online meetup. Well, maybe they aren't so bad after all. Hatcher's never done one. I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's one of those things like I gotta like trust everybody involved first. That being said, I know like some friends of mine basically met up with people they never even seen before through they met through Discord for Anime Expo. I, I could never. You never know. People who go to Anime Expo? Oh, can't trust them. I should know. I went there. Can't trust me. <laughs> A bit scary, isn't it, Windy? Yeah. In the last thread, no shit posting loud. Did that one Anon left? I think so. I never left. I was looking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry. We're here for you. Any ideas for the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I've been waiting for this juicy conclusion. Look, I, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's just like one of my Japanese animes. Who are you, Otacon? Ah, uh, who has Brad of Love? Who has that Otacon emote? E yeah. Okay, this is what you have to do. When Mickey ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. K k k k k kiss? Metal Gear. <laughs> oh yeah, the Metal Gear references. Look, there is the box from Metal Gear Solid 2 right here. The orange. Uh, there you go. Doof has it. Bread of love. To answer your question, Doof's doing okay. That's good to hear, man. Of, of course! Just try to imagine how magical that moment would be. With the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I, I, I'll think about it. The strat is closed. Oh man, I, I feel I would have I would feel so bad if I missed out on all this. This is this is some juicy juicy stuff. World building. People can find happiness even in this dystopia. It's kind of touching in a way. Alice Rabbit Thread Two. Electric Boogaloo. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now. Good. Who is Alice? I don't remember. It's just that we haven't any, haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Oh, wasn't that a hacker group? I think, yeah. Well, yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit up in the admin's ass. December 17th will come. The second retribution birthday is coming. That font, oh boy. Spooky font, it's happening. Hey, you guys remember that supposed Discord hack that was gonna happen? Look, nothing happened. Yeah. Don't give these groups attention, people. They're hackers. It's Medjed. Ha <laughs> ha! Time for despair! <laughs> oh shit, fuck! Anna, what's up? Oh no, you can't be swearing. Uh, I swear, I'm just reading the text. Hope you're doing good. 
that fuel went, I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. You know what happens to people's IDs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why are you guys so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. This thread is closed. I don't know what's happening, but it feels just like a regular Discord conversation. That's what this is. Just Discord. Huh. Uh, work in progress has family visiting. You gotta go. Uh, well, okay, work in progress. Don't you worry about it. I know you got places to be, so... Hopefully you enjoy the video later. Uh, have a good night. I'll see you, I'll see you around. Alright, this one's for a future work in progress. Welcome back. How you doing? Uh... Louis said, what's up? John face guy cute. Eh? Nando to? The augmented eye. No, no, no. No, no. Uh... San Neo San Francisco rocked by an earth. The entire Earth? Oh, rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved. Saved? Because of the earthquake? Oh, geez. I should have played this right after Anime Expo. We had that big earthquake in California. Magnitude 7, though. This one's 8.6. That is 10 times as bad. You guys, think about magnitudes. The thing about earthquake magnitudes, the number is a factor of 10. So, think of... 10 to the 8th times power, not like just like 8.6 out of whatever. That's a big earthquake. Big. Uh, a powerful 8.6 magnitude. Wait, Kimberly Lafayette. I think that was the girl that we got drunk. Yeah. What is this game anyway? Well, Anna, it's a, uh, it's a cute little game where you are a bartender in this dystopian future, kind of based on cyberpunk stuff like Blade Runner and Metal Gear and it's very it's very it's very it's it's, it's very nice Anna you should play this because like 80% of the characters are women and I'm like oh these voices oh. fortunately modern science was able to identify the quake in an almost an hour in advance providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst during a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo SF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. What does that mean? Maybe it's a man-made earthquake? Hey, look at that! Kira! Kira the Strange. Anna, did you know you're a pop star in this game? Kira confirmed to be the best. Kira and Miki confirmed as the best pop star in history. This doesn't seem like a very professional article. By Donovan Dawson. By Donovan Dawson! It's by the dude. It's by J. Jonah Jameson. Just think of it, think of him as that. Donovan really writes like this, apparently, yeah. Uh safest place on earth, the ground. It starts shaking. I'm used to it. I live in California. You dare question Anna's awesomeness? Heck no, this look, this article proves it. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. She's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> it's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, Welcome our new Roboco Overlord. That's it. That's it. That's the article. Yeah, hey, read this in the newspaper. She's the best. She's great. They can't. They just can't top her. I miss this game so much. Interview. Gloria. Oh, wait. I've seen screenshots of this character, but we haven't met her yet. Interview. Gloria Light and request for a Tino Award. Tino? Yes, you get that award for uh, making the best Totina's pizza rolls. The best. You know, to go with your vacation juice. The rumor come out. Does Kirabot is great? Kirabot is does the best, of course. All right, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull out this picture. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? I think I had it. Oh, I can find it. Come on, come on, where you be? Yeah, there's a picture going around. Here we go. 
Nintendo, can't have alcohol in our child gambling games? Solution? Vacation juice. It's not alcoholic. No, no way. It's just, just a vacation juice. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. Yup. Yup. Oh, wait. It. And then. Uh. And then. Here we go. Yeah. Everybody grab a drink, relax. This is gonna be a good stream. There you go. It's made out of vacation. Mmm, deuced vacation. Uh, Doof's gotta go. Oh, you're on mobile. Don't, don't use our mobile data on me. All right, dude. Have a good night. Sleep well. Or no, actually, you're in, you're you're in a different time zone. Uh, have a good day, man. Ho hopefully, it's fun. Uh, let, let, let let me know. Let me know if you if you went over your data cap or not. <laughs> the juice is covering Majima. Oh, we know he's there. He's everywhere. Uh. Lost Soul, what's up? Welcome back. How are you? It's Valhalla. Don't know if you've been here for this game, but I'm playing it again. I streamed this a long time ago. It's fancy juice. It's mature juice. It's adult drink. It's adult soda. It's not really soda. Majima's enjoying the drink. He's drinking it from the bottom. <laughs> uh, by Lana Smithy. The Augmented Eye. In today's interview segment, we sit with Tino Award nominee, Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It's my pleasure. Tell us everything. What was your... Content blocked in your region. All right, anybody got a VPN? Damn. That's disappointing. Ah, uh, dystopian future. Everything's blocked by the government. That makes sense. Add app. What is this? The Kiramiki, the Kiramiki blog. Keeper's got our own blog. Lost Souls doing good. Never seen this game before. I don't know if you're a fan of uh, visual novels, you'll probably enjoy it. These characters are troubled. They need a drink, and I'm the one to give it to them. Thanks, Glitch City by Miki. Ooh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me, and I got to experience the craziest and loudest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Dome concert. Oh, I'm reading this out of order, aren't I? Bang, bang. <laughs> thwack the drinks. Oh, why don't I add thwack as a... I was gonna... You know what? I was actually thinking about adding thwack as a... As a command. I, I just didn't have time to cut it out of the video. Thwack. I'll just say it every time somebody says thwack. Bullet. What's up, Rakunda? Welcome. You might know this game, don't you? Every time somebody comes in, I'm just gonna be like, Do you know this game? If not, it's gonna be confusing. I think you can get the gist of it just by watching. What I do to relax by Miki. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to the relax. Sitting on rooftops, I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. It's a very Japanese thing, sit on the school, sit on the school roof. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, tea. Now that's a, that's a pop idol I can get behind. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty kind of natural combination and I'll be all over it. Aren't you a robot? Well, I did serve her drinks, so yeah, I guess I guess they can drink. I forgot about that already. <laughs> uh, Rakunda has it on Vita and Switch. Ooh, I'm waiting for the physical copy to come out on Switch. Because, you know, I kind of already have the game. But I want it physical. I also have a Jill plush. Do I still have that up? Oh, that's a Dragon Quest slime. Well, I have a Jill plush. I'll be very careful about getting tipsy before our show, though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. That's all for today. See you! Adorable. Dome concert. Hi, everyone! Are you ready for the dome concert? I sure am. Typo! I perform in a rather large number of concerts each year, and I, even then I can't help but be excited every time I have a one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you. Thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all of your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one little, just one little request. 
please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Mickey. I can tell she's had a problem with that before. <laughs> Probably. My bodyguards or... But does she mean the fan cub? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I haven't been noticing these. Crap. You know, somebody's gonna get hurt. For sure. Bender would like to have a talk to you about these robots. No drink nonsense. What? You mean... Do you think robots don't drink? This is my shitty Bender impression. It's terrible, isn't it? Nah, I can't do it. I'm not, I'm not Joe DiMaggio or John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. You wanna, you wanna make a Christmas tree? I don't know. Let's just go ahead and start the day then. Uh, she'll focus at work. Cool. Well, let's, let's, let's go to work then. Does anybody remember how to go to work? It would probably be the go to work button. Thursday, December fifteenth. Oh wow! I wonder if I celebrate Christmas in this game. All right. Bite my shiny metal ass. Let's put something good on the TV. Hassy Zero. Uh, cool. We watch. We protect. Bunnies? I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, I like the ramen one. Imagine paying fifty nine ninety nine for a cup noodle. Good evening. Oh, hi there. What's up, Shuichi? Who? I was ex... You kind of look like Catherine from Catherine. But not Catherine, but actually Catherine. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. No, wait, that's the voice I'm giving for the boss. Um, no. How about... I was expecting the bar to be uh, different before opening hours, but I guess it's the, just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Is that his name? Gillian. Marcelo? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Marcelo Leonidas Gillian. How do you know his full name? Rakunda doesn't celebrate Christmas in real life. You got no family and poor. Oh. I'm sorry, Rakunda. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do something special for Christmas. How about that? You can tune in then and we'll, we, we can celebrate together. I stumbled across her on my way in, in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Why? Jill, don't bring in strange people. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? Did she ever get out of that thing? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. Sure. Alma, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. I don't know if that's the voice I want to give her. I. This is the problem. I need to come up with unique voices for all these people. This is harder than Danganronpa. Um. I think I'm still in the process of trying to listen to everything. What haven't I seen yet? Neon glow lights, huh? Where is that? There's some excellent music in this game. I haven't even heard it all. What page am I on? Hmm. Hmm. Base of the Titans. Rebase of the Titans. Eh? Hey, is... Order different every time? No, I have seen everything. All right, then let's go from the beginning. Oh, we gotta have a good soundtrack for our day at work. You don't even know. It's just like when I work in real life. And eh, not that one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, that one. Why does it take so long to load? All right, let's just go random. Umemoto. Umeneko. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Oh, wait, we bought Your Love is a Drug, so we should listen to that one. Renewed Hope. Uh, Digital Drive. Uh, Re Snowfall or Go Home. Do I have that one? Uh, let's get rid of this one. There we go. Ah, uh, perfect. The boss put on this odd stone mask. She rejected her humanity! Oh, no. No wonder she's English. Hector just thwacked somebody in Smash? Oh, congratulations! Thwack! <laughs> uh, you rarely see pixel art like this. You like it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, the first time I saw this game in screenshots, I looked at the pixel art. I'm like, what's this game about? It looks like it has a slight Metal Gear influence. You know, cyberpunk, bartender, action, tactical, espionage, bartender. I'm down with it. I'm down with it. I'm finally playing it. I'm happy. You love the art style and the concept. And give me anything cyberpunk and I will absolutely, absolutely eat it all up. Or rather, in this case, drink it all up. Time to mix drinks and change lives. And I'm all out of lives. I made that joke last time. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh? I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. Stand up with our... What? Oh. Not stand on our hands. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Jill is, you know... Very quick to make friends, huh? Uh, oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature? To ch 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 mm. Well, I thought you said you went to school. <laughs> Apparently you can't read. We need more cyberpunk and silly characters. Yeah, th I would like to see an anime about this. Does anybody know any? Ah, it's so good. It's so good. Hold on, I need to do something on my computer. Yeah, okay, sure. Yo, what's up? Back to Valhalla, you see? Oh, you sure do. Oh, dude, I know you've been streaming this game too, Joe. Yeah, I'm finally getting back to it. I'm happy that I am. I miss the writing in this game. Oh, uh, these characters are silly. They got problems, but you know, who doesn't? All you know is of the sequel? There's a sequel? It's not like DLC for the first one? I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Hiramiki girl came here yesterday with it before her concert, actually. I got her shit-faced. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. Hey, hey, there's an article I can show you that confirms that Kira is the best. Honestly, you can't, you cannot argue with, with hey. J. Jonah Dawson. The stoic-looking duo, right? Brad, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to Metal Gear. See, tactical espionage action. Yep, those. Huh. Seems like you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. Is... Did you go to the concert? Is Damien the anonymous dude from the Dangerous Opinions Forum? It's all connected. Is someone doubting Kira's awesomeness? Ah, impossible. The article proves it. <laughs> uh, I see. You want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Emma. Okay. No, this is an old friend. I don't remember. Forgive me if, like, she showed up at the last episode and I forgot. It's been five months. There's a sequel called Nirvana. No, no way. Oh, I need to check that out then. Well, after this, of course. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. Dude, Brad, you gotta get in on, get in on this game. If not on stream, just, just go play it. They've got... It, it's very Kojima-inspired. Alma, we've known each other for, what, a few months now? Okay, maybe not old friend, but friend. I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. How many have you seen? She's got seven evil exes. You're gonna go Scott Pilgrim on your ass. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time for to foster something to break. Oh, she knows. She's a heartbreaker. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be a bit more interested, you know? <laughs> uh, nope. Oh, it's not out yet. Hmm, okay. Hope it comes to Switch then. I'm gonna buy this game when it comes out on Switch physically, and I'm gonna buy the sequel. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome. Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? Frame what? Frame who? A frame. Yeah, for all these pics you have of your boss. The ones filling your phone's memory. Hey, hey. I, I respect my boss, okay? Some seem sneakily taken at that. 
You can't. How? You, when, when did you look through my phone? That's evasion of privacy. <laughs> I guess this is like dystopian future. She probably just like hacked it using an off the shelf program or something. Uh, sequel looks good. Oh, does it? Does anybody have screenshots? I'm curious. Uh, Sylvia's gonna buy the sequel day one. Heck yeah. If it's any if it's any bit as good as this. Brad finished class trial in Danganronpa. Danganronpa. You didn't expect how they You didn't expect Robo Justice. Nobody really does. Well, congratulations for getting through Class Trial 3, Brad. It's I seeing you play it reminded me how um uh, you know, less good it was. But still, still, still I love the game, regardless. Uh Oh, okay, okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've got pictures of Nirvana. It... Oh, yeah, it's still pixel art. It's still pixel art, but it's, like, even better. Like, they, they make way better use of the shading and color. Parka. They complained his character was too mean when they... was exactly to the point. Oh, yeah. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Oh, I'm looking at all these pictures. Can make a pina colada. Isn't that name brand? Is that isn't that trademarked or something? Oh man. All right. Is that true, Gillian? Gillian. Wow. Uh, it looks like she knows me better than my coworker does. What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. <laughs> oh, Jill's got a crush. I guess I could have, you know, maybe figured that out from the fact that it's her lock screen. A selfie with the boss. Uh, shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Are, are you Futaba? Medjet! Uh, I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. Okay, Jill, 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 I think we need to have a talk. Bay caught me slipping. You damn her. She's a Sukaban. Sukaban. I I I recently learned that's like a character trope for like a tough girl. It makes sense. Eh. Minoka toss. Susano toss. Pina colada is a quote unquote flavor. Okay, I guess you can't trademark it then. Twerk. Uh, regiment posted a trailer in the Discord, huh? I'll watch it later then. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Um, you're talking about drinks, right? <laughs> sure. Alma wants a... <laughs> bad touch. Oh, Jill can't help but giggle about that. Uh, where's that? Where's the... How do I... Oh, here we go. Bad touch. Bad touch. But nothing but mammals after all. So tidy. A bad touch is two Bronson Extract, two Powder Delta, two Flanergide, and four Carmatrine, all in the rocks and mixed. So, what you're saying is... Four Bronson... Four Powder Delta... Four Flanergide... And eight Carmatrine. Uh... Rocks... Mix... Success! I remember how to play this game! I'm happy! It's sour, classy, vintage, rustic. Bad touch! Here you go! This is one big bat? Oh, is that because I made her an extra large one? Are you hitting on me, Maple? You wish. <laughs> hey, she's single. <clears throat> um. So, so, who's Damien again? <laughs> the one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. How about the man? How about the person? And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. Hey, what's wrong with live action and roleplay? I play roleplaying games all the time. LARP? ARP? YARP? Live action role playing. 
And you know, it's only one step removed from playing Dungeons and Dragons. Don't don't lie. And it, <laughs> if you don't think so, then you don't. You've never seen me play Dungeons and Dragons. Sounds more like the nickname of some hey. very handy, heavy, heavy-headed writer or a military organization. LARP, the LARP chief. You're the LARP chief, Darnold Anderson, aren't you? <laughs> what did he roleplay as? Uh, have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess that is Woodstock, isn't it? Jill, you don't break it out. The music just got freaking intense. What is this, a boss battle? Oh, this OST. It's good, isn't it? Jedhar's gonna go watch somebody play Fire Emblem Heroes. I might play that on my own time, but I don't think I'm gonna stream it. I'm not good at strategy games. I am interested, though. I've heard very good things. LARP achieve. <laughs> yeah. Intense drinking. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. Is that live action role playing, or is that just going to a concert? If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that. You see? That, that's the problem right there! You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. I, I suppose some people have different definitions of what it means to be together. I don't know. I'm up. I'm of the opinion that you need to get to know to someone. You, you need to get to know someone first, you know, before you decide to go steady. Because then what? You find out you don't like one thing about them, and then you have to end this whole relationship that you already said was a thing. Just, just take it slow. Take it slow. You have your whole life to live. I made Brad a big bag touch. <laughs> From Big Boss. That's what that's what you call uh, CQC. It's a big bad touch. <laughs> uh, LARP Chief. Metal Gear. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or for whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Hey! Hey now! It's personal! Personal, I, I'm making the cross arms no gesture with my arms, but nobody can see me. I don't have a webcam. Last night, I. Wait a minute. When did this happen? She's lying. Your cat doesn't count. Bringing up the sex life. Apparently, a year ago, it was messy. Last night, a year ago. Oh. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. I don't know. I think she was kind of brought up something personal. The one year anniversary of something not too great. I mean, if she remembers the date exactly. If I were you, I'd have pushed the fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Hey, how do you know, how, how you know if it was a boy or not? Fuckboy? What, was it Gillian? It's not Gillian, is it? I kind of hope it is. Yeah, this game is, um, uh, not for children. <laughs> uh, a little bit awkward. People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Well, that sounds nice, but... <laughs> Tozing off knowing they're there, watching you. Protecting you. Jill. I made her sad. It's just got depressing. That's okay, Jill. It's okay. You'll find somebody. <laughs> You'll find somebody. Just 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 keep at it. Anything I can make you to shut up and drink. I'll have you know that my Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh? Ventriloquism? Ventriloquism, huh? Waiting for the, uh, Metal Gear villain who has the ability to ventriloquism his way 
to your death. Or at least a JoJo stand power. CQC! Uh. Hmm. Anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> weird? A weird drink? Yeah, something un different. Experimental. Uncommon. What does that mean? Let's see. You guys see that Tommy Wiseau started streaming on Mixer? You guys see that Ninja started streaming on Mixer? I... There's, look. Mixer is owned by Microsoft. Somebody... I bet... I bet, you know, somebody from Microsoft is reaching out to these people and paying them the big bucks. Promo drinks, huh? To get people to... Get people to stream on Mixer. There's no way. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah, Ninja's making the big bucks on Twitch. Oh no, no, Mixer now. Is that thing weird? Weird. Type promo. Zen Star. Sour promo bland. No, that's not weird. How about this thing? Like, make like the most expensive one. Spicy promo. It's so unnecessarily brown. <laughs> Bloomlight. Ah, I like that reference. Like graphics were back then. Promo strong. Let's go with the Zen Star. Yeah, four of each ingredient, huh? I wonder if people are able. Well, I guess people are able to play this game by not looking at everything. Four of each. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Rocks mixed. For the good. Black. Zen Star. Here. Here. Yeah, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made by made to commemorate a movie. Read. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Huh. Ain't that the truth? Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a brand tea. And then something like a cobalt velvet or something similar. I feel like I should have to remember that. Brand teeny? Cobalt velvet. Hmm. Ventriloquism. Screaming Mantis head puppets. Did she make them talk, though? That would've been odd. That, that would be right up Metal Gear's alley, wouldn't it? Just a, a villain that monologues at you through their puppet instead of with their body. And then you kill them. Choose Your Legends 3 is announced. What is Choose Your Legends? Never heard of it. Uh, well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Yeah, some people like routine, some people don't. When Rakunda's favorite streamers go to Mixer, you might give it a look. No desire now, you hate it enough when people use YouTube for streaming. I mean, if Twitch didn't have a clause for exclusivity, I would, I would multi-stream to Twitch and YouTube. Just for the sake of like making it easier to upload stuff to YouTube, because I have to do that manually these right now. But I think Twitch would still be my like main thing. It's kind of like what the people I watch do. Uh, hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? Alice Rabbit? I am Alice Rabbit. That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. Oh, here we go. We're gonna get an earful. Hold on. We need a we need a good one for this. Good TV show. Wrestling. Has always very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Was it? Was it the organization known as DICE? Did they dress up with clown masks? And they lied all the time? Eli Woodbright. Michaela Bright. I don't I don't know who those people are. Uh yeah. Yeah, the only back when I was back when the people I watched on Twitch 
streamed to both Twitch and YouTube, the only thing I used YouTube for was to be like, oh, I missed the first 10 minutes of the stream. Let me go to the YouTube and scrub back. Because Twitch didn't used to have that. And now, but now Twitch does. So I can watch a VOD while the stream is still happening. So there's, there's no reason. There's no reason for me to be on YouTube. Still though, there's a reason people always come back to Twitch. Lie? I never lie! Shut up, Kokishi. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. This sounds like real life. The dangerous hacker known as... The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. You're telling me these are just meme hackers? This is just the internet. Is this real life? Is this a fantasy? Caught in a landslide, it is no longer a group but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. The Patriots? La li lu le lo. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know. Don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity. But it might be anything. An individual? A group? An AI? The Patriots. Yes. GW! That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. Don't, don't tell me. You actually created Alice Rabbit, but then it's spun off into this uncontrollable entity that you have no longer no control of because they're just stealing your name, and now you feel miffed about it. You are Futaba. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Kids hacking. Talking about those script kitties. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. That's actually a pretty good point. Making it relatable to Jill. I see. Metal Gear, it's already active. I'm not sure whose voice that was. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. But enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh. That. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? Hey, I'm busy at work, I have very long days. Uh, no, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you just can't say no. Ah. Yeah, you can keep my cat company. I'll still be at work. I need scissors. 60 Warden. I hear it's amazing when the purple stuff worm in Flapjaw space with a tuning fork. There's a raw blink on Herakiri Rock. You ship it. I kind of do as well. I know, I know, she's single. <laughs> Maybe I'll also crash for the night. Maybe for a month or two. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories at night, shower together. Tell me more. <laughs> you know, you need some even warmth in that place. So, when, when does the petting happen? Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Wow. I see. <laughs> oh, she's not Himiko, that's for sure. Shadowheart's gonna have to go. Oh, you got work. All right, Shadowheart, thanks for joining. Thanks for dropping by. Have a good day. Have a good night. If you're uh, if you're playing Fire Emblem, enjoy that. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. Nonchalantly. React with tit joke. Yes. I like Jill. <laughs> uh, she's the uh, purer version of Miu. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I'm sorry. Jill is the unteasable. I refuse. Turtle reference? In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? You like Jill. Jill's a little queen of sass. Uh... 
I respect her. I mean, it's not a date. It's not? Damn. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I... Not a morning person. What even time of day is it? I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's pretty early, yo. On weekends, I, I don't wake up earlier than noon without a reason. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. Mood. Big mood. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big brantini. There you go. The usual. Finally. That's the Elma I know. She's not been replaced by a Snatcher robot after all. At some point, I gotta play Snatcher. With all this Hideo Kojima in my life lately. Uh, Brantini. Six Aldehyde, three Powdered Delta, one Karma Tree. Only one? Really? Eight out of ten smug assholes would re recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. Minoka Smug. Uh, let's see. So, 12 aldehydes. Hey, she's a friend. Oh, I, yeah, there you go. She's a friend. She, she, she needs, uh, you know, a little bit of extra portion. And, you know, a little bit of extra alcohol in her system. Age it, mix it. Success! Here. I'm surprised that fits in a martini glass. It probably is like a giant one. You know, Rantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini, but it's like a brand name. Uh, Jill's basically the uh, narrator from Catherine right now. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of a brand of Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So on a weird whim, they changed the name. I see. Jill. Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Ma'am? Ma'am, you, you had a, a bit much. Uh, have a good night, Shadow Heart. I'll see you around. J I L L. That'd be 4 A 6 9 6 C 6 C. Don't, don't you do ASCII code at me. Also, nice. Or zero one zero zero one zero one. Zero. I wish I could drunken binary. Holy crap! One one zero three seven. In binary, you have fifteen one. Did you celebrate your quit 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 your fifteenth birthday party? Hey, hey, Jill. Don't think so. What about your sweet 16? Did, did, did you do anything special for that? Nope. And your 18th or 21st? Nope, none of those. I saw no point in making them any different from any other birthdays. Jill, Jill. Gotta live a little, girl. <laughs> oh, but they're different. How so? They celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point where society tells you that you can fuck. Hmm. Yes. Um, somebody, somebody call an Uber. <laughs> I think she needs one. <laughs> Reliable. I don't know. That's a bit too real. You're starting to look appealing enough for other people to consider a fucking you. Yeah. It's also the hypocritical way they tell you you, you can, but shouldn't fuck. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't have given her so much. Guess that's one way of seeing it. Jill is very good at her job. This does not phase her one bit. Although there's no point in celebrating those so late. There was this one time in middle school where I got fed up with a teacher. I was in eighth grade, but the idiot kept treating me like a child. So one day I... I see where this is going. I adjusted my shirt, pushed my boobs together with my hands, and told him... Teacher, you know, do know you could get me pregnant, right? Poor bastard couldn't look at me for the rest of the year. I also got suspended, scolded, and grounded, but it was totally worth it. As you should have. 
Alma! Jill, where did you meet this woman? Ah, oh, well. I guess they... The, 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 I guess um, Alma would be friends with someone like Jill. One of the, one of the only people who can tolerate this... Uh, this level of depravity. Oh, you know, it's also healthy to be, you know, in tune with your sexuality sometimes. Tomas drank. Celeste's here, what's up? Um, I assume that you've already passed this part of the game, so I don't need to explain myself. It's Alma. I was a blossoming woman, and I wasn't gonna stand for it. Uh-huh. What did you walk in on? Celeste, you've been playing this. You probably passed me by now. This is why I like numbers. Numbers don't await your sexual awakening just to tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. We are grown women, Elma? Why are we talking about this right now? She's, she's drunk. Oh, did you not get her drunk? Is that what happened? Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect you to form a family or give them grandkids. This is the point where she gets real, huh? Maybe this is why you can't hold a boyfriend for more than a couple of weeks. You feel this pressure. You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? No, but I care that you're drunk. I, I, I almost certainly not. You did, but you got different dialogue. Well, you're not like me who maxes out everybody's alcohol. <laughs> then spell your name. 416060611037. There. Not in hexadecimal. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll call you an Uber. I'll be fine. I'm going home now. My brother in law is close by. He told me to call him when I was done. Hopefully, hopefully to put you to sleep. Bye, Joe. We got lewd Alma tonight. Apparently not always lewd. Lama. That's her name. Alama. Take care out there. Okay, who's this now? Hello, sugar. Ow. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Almost right. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. Did you just grab the boss's ass? <laughs> it serves you right. Yeah, my boss has um, prosthetic arms. I think she was, um, you know, caught in some sort of helicopter accident. And um, she, she, she ended up running mother base. I think it's more like... I, I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck and that's all my admin felt. Do you normally greet people that way? Why don't you greet me that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the field of my summer house. You are... I'm so glad that Elmo's not here right now. I would have to, you know... I would have to break up more than just a relationship. Bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. I, we got like three types of rat poison in the back. Why well, won't hesitate? Okay, maybe I shouldn't kill him. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Oh uh, yeah. Speaking of audience, where's uh, where's Dorothy? Today I'm making this a quick one. Got to attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. This is not fair. I haven't played in five months. Mr. Donovan wants the usual. <laughs> Three days and he already has a usual drink. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is try to remember what that was, maybe by name. <laughs> a beer, no. Maybe it was a... Mars Blast? A suplex, no. A gut punch, a Zen Star. Huh, huh. A heckin' beer. Yeah, you know, you, you you can mix up a beer. Did you know there's there's a formula for it? No, this is uh, the, the if, if if someone could uh, maybe look up what his usual drink is because I I don't remember. But I'm gonna talk about how this game works. Um, this is the far far future where alcohol is 
well, traditional alcohol is no longer made because of either dwindling resources or it got outlawed or something. I don't remember quite why, but we had these chemicals that simulate what drinks used to be. The main thing being carmatrine. Carmatrine kind of being the stand-in for ethanol alcohol. Yeah. It was beer. Oh, thank you, Celeste. I, was, I, had, a, I had a thought it might have been. This dude, you want to punch him in the face? He is... <laughs> he is quite the character. Just think J. Jonah Jameson from Spider-Man because he runs a news quote-unquote paper. He thinks it, because he's the big boss, he can, you know, he can carry his weight around everywhere he goes. But, you know, as long as he doesn't hurt anybody, I, 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 I serve him. My job. All right. Two aldehydes. Four bronsons. Powdered deltas. Four flanergides. The way this game works is... Anytime you have a recipe for a drink, you can actually double it to make a bigger version of the drink. All mixed. Bam. So many things. People have their different preferences, different tastes, and depending on how drunk they are, they, 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 they say different things to you during the course of the night. You, saw, you said beer because you saw Celeste play it. <laughs> there you go. You can't believe you remembered. Hey, you played this more recently than I did. Uh, after posted a thwack mp3? Oh no. Uh, where was that when we had Mew? Now oh, Danganronpa's over. Where could that be? Thwack! 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 Oh, that's perfect. Nice cut. Alright, we'll save that. We'll make a sound effect for it right now. And then anytime somebody is now, you know, out of line, like maybe if Dawson does try something, if he tries something, we'll keep our thwack ready. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, keeping the chat occupied while I do this. Have you guys ever played a Hideo Kojima game? Probably, most likely, Metal Gear. I absolutely love that kind of, like, um, well, one, the audacity he has. There aren't really quite that many games like anything by Kojima. He's crazy. He's insane. But I respect it. Whack. Da -da. Command. There you go. And. Just a boom. I think it should be working already. <laughs> There's a little bit of dead air at the beginning, but you know. Makes it a little bit less um, likely to, to, to sound like spam. Ah, Metal Gear. I know Brad has. Uh, Sylveon has watched playthroughs of Metal Gear. Hey, that's all you need to get the craziness. Anna, what's going on? You oofing? What is flirting? Don't know what flirting is. Thwacking, that's different. Uh, Windy says, you don't care if he just got punched before, he's about, he's going around grabbing asses. Get thwacked. Yeah, no, yeah. The usual. Sure, this'll work. Tell me beer doesn't work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? The girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So, I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of their other outlets, but the end result is what matters. Shady. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Uh, you're telling me this? This is my life. This is my job right now. Uh, if he was punched in the gut, he should get the gut punch. Oh yeah, that is a drink. Your work finally let you enroll in medical. Ooh, congratulations. Yeah, you've been needing that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that should be a standard. They, I, I don't know about you, but my work let me do that, like, from the very beginning. Oh, uh, I'm sure there's, I'm sure it's, I'm, I don't know the law. I don't know the law. I'm not a lawyer. How's the game? 
very interesting so far. It's a, a little bit of a view into this dystopian life. Things are messed up. Is that Hollow Knight? Bun Bun. And you know, people can be interesting. People can be good, they can be bad. And at the end of the day, Jill is just a neutral party just doing her job. Now that's what I call service. Uh... Huh? Hey! The signature on that glass over there. Ah? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. That big-titted Lilum was here. Lilum? What? Oh, what? Why are you talking about Burke? Uh. Again, very glad that a llama isn't here. Llama. Yuiki, what's up? Welcome. Hope you enjoy this game. Special novel. I'm getting people drunk and having fun doing it. She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Are you talking about? Are you talking about Kirimiki? Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. No. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Do not corrupt the purest. I was even like reluctant to give her too much beer. That's how pure, that's how pure she was. I remember that now. I usually give everybody the maximum commentary. No, she has a performance to get to and I'm damn not gonna be responsible for ruining it. Uh, hmm. Wiki loves you a good visual novel. You'll enjoy this. Uh, don't be gay. Don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? Oh, yeah. Give me a, a limited edition Kirimiki poster. Sure. I could rip one off the street, but you know, who knows what germs are around. I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. You trying to protect her legally? Fine. Say, are many of your interns women, Mr. Donovan? Knowing him, probably. All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry, desperate bitches. Alright, where's where's that thwack? What? Why only women? You ever watch Race for Hope? Hope? The movie? Yeah. Movie about a journalist looking for clues regarding a murder. That tacky movie had everything. Romance, action, a dog with sunglasses. That movie sounds great. A dog with sunglasses? That's cool. Sounds like a dog that Brad would have. It also sold this weird fantastical image of what journalism is. I'm guessing tons of girls saw that in high school and wanted to become journalists. And now I have to deal with that shit. How could you be so sure? My first brother-in-law was a doctor. He said that a couple of years after that emergency heart movie, all of his interns were women for a long while. And this is why you don't let brass and barely understand what responsibilities are pick a career. Um... You perhaps know a girl named Kimberly Lavayette? You know, about, um, yay high, um... Was late to work because she was absolutely shit-faced the other day? Doesn't ring a bell. Who is she? Uh, nobody. Forget I said anything. So all of his interns are women, and he doesn't remember the names of any of them. Oh, Dawson. Oh, Dawson, what are we gonna do with you? Sounds like Anna. Hey! Are you Dawson, or are you Kimberly? The girl. Oh, Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? I can one share when there's honestly nothing to share. Uh-huh. Ain't buying it. Hey, maybe Jill just forgot. I mean, I did. It's been five months. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Sounds like a rock band. Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. Yeah, like the, the, the odd police force that they have. 
I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting place, and even better makes of toilet paper. Toilet paper. Oh, interesting piece. <laughs> uh, wiping with that. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I heard about that somewhere. What of them? They send a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. Not well, they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh. That'd be interesting to see, I think. No rights in chat, please. I, I know, right? I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Only two drinks? Are you sure about that, Dawson? What's a bleeding Jane? That's a change of pace. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever heard him order that. Say the name of this drink three times at the front of a mirror and you'll look like a fool. <laughs> a bleeding... Oh, it's a Bloody Mary. I get it. Huh. 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 Hey, Bloody Marys are pretty good. Then again, I just like drinking tomato juice, so... Question for chat. Do you like drinking V8? Just like the regular V8 drink. I One time I used that not as a drink, but one time I was having uh, a boxed lunch that had pasta in it, but the pasta was like totally plain with no sauce or anything whatsoever. And my friend was drinking a V8, and I'm like, hey, I'll trade you my drink for yours. I just like took the V8 and I poured it all over the pasta and then it had tomato sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Wiki doesn't even like it with alcohol. Ah, just just think of it, think of it as like tomato, t tomato, tomato sauce. Sylveon hasn't had any in a while. I like it. It's good for you, although it's very salty. It's actually got a lot of sodium, a ton. Uh, if I ever get any, I get the low sodium stuff, but it just sound, it just tastes like less. It just tastes watered down, basically. All right, let's give the two Bronsons. Six powdered deltas. I am getting this man drunk. Wait, there's no alcohol in this. Fine. Is that the right? I, I guess that's right. Come on, blend it. There you go. Lee Jane. Classic sobering. Stick a potato chunk in it. The potato should suck in some sodium. Oh, hmm, that's an interesting tip. And then you can eat the potato. But then you'll just consume the same sodium, though. Or maybe save the potato for cooking later. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. You doubt my power? So, I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? Yeah. Is that the boss's full name? The boss. Never thought I'd hear about that undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air... Bears? Yeah. It was this big old black and white bear. It kept talking about despair. <laughs> Six years ago, a crash... A cash-strapped Dana Zane entered the underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I... Aren't those endangered? I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. If you knew her from that long ago. Yeah, I, there's some... Nobody really knows how the boss lost her arm. It's just, it, It's one of those things that's like... A legend at this point. Brad's feeling some despair. Don't feel despair. Get glad. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. That's a bit more mundane, but also metal. That sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. What does it with you? In the business of news, more like tabloids. More like something she made up. So that part of Danganronpa with Sakura and the top 10 anime battles of all time with Monokuma. Now that's the battle that the boss was involved in. Yeah, back in back in the day, Dana was called Sakura Ogami. She was a lot more. She was a lot more buff back then. 
Uh, well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I know betting on her was the right choice. I mean, I'd bet on Sakura for sure. Sakura, my girl. I miss Danganronpa 1. I miss Danganronpa 1 a lot. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Sukaban Games. Aww. Oh, I always love these intermissions so much. Yeah. Sire. Very prudent, Dana, aren't you? It is now safe to keep playing. Windows 95, anybody? Look at this girl. She is badass. Kind of want an anime figure of her. Or at least like a model kit. Huh. Hmm. 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 Hey. Oh, yeah. All right, let's, uh... Put some new music up. Did I did I end up listening to Snowfall, re Snowfall? Actually, listen to some of these. Thanks for the safe command, command Celeste. I like it. I'm keeping that one. I like the way that she looks. Pretty good. Was that $59.99 for ramen? It is! This is the future! Stuff costs that much! I'm guessing a rough estimate of how much money is... Wow, this is intense. A rough estimate of how much stuff costs is like... One hundredth of the normal price. A 59 cents for ramen sounds about right. If you're overpaying, actually. Like all the designs. The designs are great. I need the... I... Sukuban's made other games, right? I need to see what else they've done. Alright, I'll take that. But we're going for a more mellow tone tonight. You know, this is the second half of the stream, so we're... We're gonna go for, like, winding down, huh? It's endless appreciation towards the game with you. Hey, the game is good. I can't even fault you for that. I... When a game focuses on writing its characters well and then populates its world. Mostly, I'm just a really big fan of world building in anything. If you do that well, I don't even care if the movie itself is kind of eh. I want to... It makes me want to, like, look for fan works based on the same world. Showtime! Eh, yeah, we'll take that. Take that, uh, take that. Time Machine Dream, of course. Dusk, and uh, the Digital Drive, Neon District. And of course... A Star Pieces of the Dark. Darkness. Oh yeah, very mellow. Ah, boss! You're back! So about those bears... Yeah. Sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh. Everything alright? Darkness. darkness. No, darkness. That's not true. As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. You... The bar's closing? But boss, boss, I need this job! What will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything has been put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. Oh, boss. Thinking of me even after the death of the... of the... of the bar, I... She cares. Whack. Whack. She cares so much. She's gonna make sure I don't get thwacked out in the uh, out in the wild uh, in the world, homeless, alone. Is this the boss? Yeah, it's my boss. Look, she's got a she's got a prosthetic arm, just like Venom Snake. Look here. Hector's gonna go to sleep. All right, Hector. I'll see you around. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. I won't be streaming tomorrow, so it'll be a while before I'm back. So. 
hope, 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 hope your weekend goes well, and thanks for being here. Much appreciated. Best boss. She's pretty good. Ha. You're pretty good. Just what I expect from the boss. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, they said. <laughs> uh, what about G Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using that credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? That's why he's scared of going back to Hong Kong! This gets deeper and deeper. She looks young but badass. The best kind of boss. She, You know she's had experience with the world even though she's... Yet still's got a way to go. The one who brought a levi levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Ah, yes, the re levitation potion story. Well, it looks like the original Gillian was quite... Quite the, um... Quite the gully, gullible in um, You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway. Minecraft. Yeah, levitation potion. Gillian Seed from Snatcher. Ah, now you're getting it, and that's why I do his voice like this. It's very obviously a reference to Snatcher, because it's Ko- This is very Kojima. Just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at it. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir, ma'am. Uh, you guys do know I can hear you, right? <laughs> it's fine, Shuichi. Just, just stay in your corner. Uh, he's back in there washing dishes. He doesn't know. This place looks familiar. Oh, oh! Yeah, it's Robo Girl. All right, all right. Let's see what she's all about. Look at her hair. I like her. Oh, I just realized she got cat ears. Oh, you know, robots these days. Wow, look at look at the design. I love this. The, the, the drill hair. It, it's just just edgy enough. Looks like something out of Castlevania. Look at that cross. Give her a mocky voice. Ah, do you want to die? Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Uh, welcome to Valhalla. She looks amazing. Did you not play this part, Celeste? Did you stop right before? Did you stop, like, in that intermission? Oh, God, what is save planning now? Excuse me? Your ears twitchy. It's adorable. I can't. I can't. I need to learn how she's like first before I make any decisions about liking her character. I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. Isn't that the piano woman? I remember that description somewhere. What was the drink that's named was changed after people caused a stink? It was originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complained there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Yeah! Yeah, I remember that! Oh wow. This game is more rem this game is more memorable than I think. Cat girls are real! They're real! Cat girl without salad. You guys ever played Cat Girl Without Salad? It's this game by Way Forward that was originally a April Fool's joke. Where the joke was, oh, we're making a game that's a rhythm game, but it's also an action RPG, but it's also a visual novel, but it's also a this and that. It's every genre of game all at once. All at once. Success, P-Woman. But then eventually WayForward made that a real game. And I've always thought about streaming it. It plays like a space shooter, but all the weapons you get are different genres of game. There's like a, a golf. There's like a sports game one where it's a golf ball that you have to shoot around. There's one that's a rhythm game where you have to press the arrows in time. Here you go. That's a future you can look forward to. It's pretty good. Dystopian, more like... 
Pretty good. Meowtopian. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know, say, miss... I'm still a Hoshi. My pleasure. Ryoma Hoshi, dude! They're related. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes. Yeah. In fact, I'm glad you know her, because she left this here last time. Oh, God. She left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Uh, just don't mention that the boss was wearing it for, like, all of yesterday. Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. I didn't, know the, I didn't know the circus was in town. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Like, nobody's gonna mess with the people who protect and serve. No way. Meotopian dystopia. Uh, whoa, quite a few people. Say he's as much of a sociable girl as she is total klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. Stella Hoshi. Oh yeah, I guess Stella does mean star. I, I know the Hoshi part. Hoshi no Kabi. Her name is Star Star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see. What's your cousin's name? Estrella... Estrella? Joseph Joestar. Brad can dig a helmet. This is more of a... You know, a helmet... Sort of Daft Punky. A music... The music... Every track in this game just gets better and better. What is this one called? I can probably see it in the jukebox. In alternate reality. I think... I think... I think I noticed this one, like, in the first stream. I'm like, whoa, what song is this? I'll remember it for later. So did she recommend you this place, or... Did she just go to... Take her habit back? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, say, is that... Hira Miki's autograph on the glass? Oh, you bet your bottom. She's the best! Dawson said so. I got proof. Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Hey, you gotta have that kind of stuff in a bar. Yeah. Alright, you and me, Brad. We're gonna go to a bar and we're gonna go chat up the bartender like this. And they're gonna be really cool and they're gonna have autographs by robot pop stars. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Oh, she perked up at that. Really? Aw, oh, fan, huh? Oh, she blushy. I mean, she did. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Don't steal it. Sure. Yep, this star-like signature is hers. A cat girl, can you has? Well, you see the robot. Is she a robot or is she just like a, a android? Or is she like a cyborg? The robots in this game are all mass-produced for, you know, all types of businesses, you can imagine. And I mean all of them. Tsum tsum. Daddy, daddy. So your name's Jill, then? Yeah. Bar hopping with me, let's go. Cat girls can be real, but we lack the funding. Science, make it happen! Ain't this nice? This is good, isn't it? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? No. Yes. Just call me Stella. I do. Oh. Pat, pat, pat. She deserves all the pets. I like her. I like her now. I can definitively say this. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? All right, did Say get in a car crash? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was Say. I hope she's okay. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. 
you clearly know the history of these drinks. You're just being coy and testing me if I know them. Oh, 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 I get what you're putting down. I smell what you're shuffling. All right. Drink in honor of a good friend, huh? This is making me think. Okay, l l let me see if I can do it just by just by the name. No idea. All right, we might be doing this the hard way. Uh, mammals, beer. Uh, say the thing. Uh, the, 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 it's brown. Return blue. Eight out of ten. Assholes. Asshole. Champagne cup. Knock the drunk. PG rated. If okay, if she's gonna be a regular at this bar, I kind of need to get a hold of every single one of these descriptions. I didn't expect that. Eh. Wait. These used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skin problem made them redesign the drink without the sparkling. <laughs> what, did they put like radioactive glitter in there? Oh no. I'm gonna turn into Peter Parker. Sm tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Interesting? Why old though? You guys ever had alcoholic chocolate milk? It's actually really good. I don't think it's actually milk, it's just like a alcoholic hot chocolate. Did I just go through every drink? Wait, what? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. Am I a good bartender or do I just make drinks? I know what the people need. I know what the people want. Can Anna hang along for the bar hopping? Absolutely. Or go. We're gonna spend we're gonna spend a night on the town, baby. Alright, I actually don't see what this would be. Eh? Nani. Not none of bottle drinks? Perfume with a plun? What is this? Maybe I just gotta guess. A girly drink? Sugar Rush. Sparkle Star. Maybe the name is a hint. In honor, in memory, a dream? It's never been this... It's never been this uh, open before, huh? Piano Man? drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. Play me a song of the piano man. Play me a song tonight. I guess you'd have to know the song. Let's try it. Bop, bop, beep, boop. Beep, beep, bop, boop. Bop, boop, beep. Uh, all the powdered deltas. All of them. This is too big. This is too big. Reset. It wasn't gonna fit. As much as I'd like to get her absolutely wasted. It's the name of the game. We might get another Alma on our hands. And then Jill will have to reveal more about her, you know, love life. Uh, on the rocks and mix. Bam. Piano man and piano woman, you just thought of them as friends. Maybe. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Whoa! Thanks for the tip. That's spot on. Oh, that's that one. That one's tricky. Paintball. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Memory of an old friend. There's a character I could. I'm thinking about from Danganronpa 3 right now, but I can't say it because spoilers. So you know, don't spoil Brad. May I ask you something that might be personal? You got it, Sylveon. Thanks. That was exactly it. Or maybe you remember. It isn't about my eye, is it? This is the solid eye. It lets me sneak around. N no, it's not, or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Boomers! Cat boomers? Was boomer the name of, like, the, the robots? 
Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fed? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. Nanomachine, son. So it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. You got turned into a cat girl to avoid death? What kind of future is this? Spare me. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. Boomer means she thick. Hey, now. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. I got a, I got a handy little chat to help me out, that's what. Neko will save lives. So let's go for a margarita. I don't know if I know the mar the recipe for that. I'll try. It's a uh, carmatrine, 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 a carmatrine, 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 and carmatrine. On the rocks and blended. She was cured by kitten therapy. That's some therapy I'd want. Kittens just uh, just filled an entire filled an entire pool with them. Actually, that'd be very sad because the ones at the bottom wouldn't be able to breathe. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Like a fact. A guide. The chat. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. Beer. Their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, the designs. Kinda like how Snake is with guns. It's lemon scented for a nice, pleasant scent. Savion wishes you could be a cat girl. You can do. You can do. You, you, you do. You, you absolutely can. You gotta believe in yourself. Believe, and then you can be. Morgana. Morgana? Looking cool, Joker. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. When I started with my grandpa's collection, I've been slowly growing it. I kind of wish there was a backlog because I kind of missed what the conversation was about. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? You remember there being one? What? 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 A cat girl? In real life? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. Same. That's me. I have a pretty high tolerance for alcohol. So that's like... To me, that's even more reason to not really drink. Unless there is like somebody to drink with. To get drunk with. Otherwise, I'm like consuming an expensive amount of alcohol by myself. Like, I... Mm, I don't know. I, I, I'd rather save my money. Looking cool, Joker! Sounds silly when I say that out loud. Doesn't it? That's a clip. Try tab. Oh! You're right. Thank you, Sylveon. Yeah, here you go. So what? Do you collect... Oh, no, yeah, I didn't miss anything. It's just... Do you collect what? Alcohol? I guess people do collect bottles of alcohol. That's true. I see. PK Fire! PK Fire! Anna used to be a social drinker, then Fireball happened. I mean, I have a bottle of alcohol. I have a bottle of Fireball in the fridge. It's waiting. I'll take a shot if you do. Not on stream, though. I don't think that's allowed. Well, it is, though, actually. Don't worry about it. What was. Does anybody the voice remember the voice I gave for Say? Sorry, I'm late! Welcome. Hirashai. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic too and figured walking might be faster. Never press control. It super fast forwards everything. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Anna's drinking tomorrow. Well, you know, it's tomorrow somewhere. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? Wait, there was a car crash on the roof? I guess flying cars. Took an air cab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey. All right. Hey, say. Say, say. Say what? Bless has never had fireball. It is disgusting, and I love it. Uh, I like the hey. taste of cinnamon. It's, it's silly. 
I, I, I would suggest, though, I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no, no. flying cars are just way cooler. <laughs> Yeah, I'd use that as an excuse to get around. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was. You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. And so far, Jill has delivered. Nuiki has a high tolerance, so you don't drink. That's why you like fruity drinks. If you're gonna drink, you wanna at least enjoy the flavor. Ah, uh, maybe try a nice little mule or something. They're very refreshing. They almost taste like ginger ale. Even though they're vodka, of all things. Oh. Celeste won't like it then. Ah, try everything at least once. Cinnamon whiskey is when you're your few uh, strong alcoholic beverages you drink. Because the flavor, it hits you. It's, it's silly like that. Hey, we're playing a game about making drinks. We're gonna talk about alcohol. Fireball. I was introduced to Fireball by my old boss's boss's boss. Every time there was a company outing, he'd buy a round of shots for everybody, and it was always Fireball. Either that or just lemon shots to end the night. But that, ever since then, I'm like, they have cinnamon drinks? This is cool. It's very strong, but it's fun. It's just fun to drink. Uh, even without getting drunk off of it. And it is enough if you, drink, if you should drink Fireball or Vodka tomorrow night. Yes. <laughs> yes, one of those. Both of those, maybe. Let's go shot for shot, cinnamon whiskey. Not on stream. I'm sure that somebody would have to flag my stream as self-harm at that point. So much help. Yeah, both. Always. I mean, that's the answer I'm gonna give. I don't, I don't know what you expect. You can only think of Fire Mario when Fireball is mentioned. I unlocked the Super Ball in Super Mario Maker 2. It's really fun. Uh, they need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. No, I'm good. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? All right, we'll give Say something normal, but Stella, bring it on. Uh, that'll be two Fringe Weavers then. You'll have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What? Like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if we go to one for each? Yes. Say, it's one each. Don't worry, you'll see. Two Fringe Weavers, easy enough. <laughs> half a glass each. No, like half of each glass each. Friend Weaver. Finally, an actual order. One aldehyde and nine Karmatrine! Oh, Stella! You're my kind of girl. So much alcohol. <laughs> oh, let's make it extra large, huh? Uh, aged and mixed. There's one. And then slot two. Boss battle! Two drinks! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Wait, no, wait. What Boom! Easy. Forgot about this song. It's a banger, isn't it? Why drink Fireball when you can do Dragon Piss? That's the name of a brand of cinnamon whiskey. I've never seen it in stores. I should go check out Venmo. I just got reminded of freaking JoJo Part 4. Oh yeah, this definitely sounds like it. I love this soundtrack. I need to buy it. Oh crap, I forgot to buy it. It was on it was on sale somewhere. Was it Fan gamer or the yet? It's probably fan gamer. I gotta see if it's in stock. Absolutely, placing an order after the stream. Go 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 go. Two fringe weavers. It deserves the money. It really does. So, this one's for you and this one's for me. You said I want you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. 
could have said so earlier. Say, it's okay. It's okay, girl. You, you, you you'll understand someday. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. Today, at least. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Who's money, though? The governments, there you go. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? Nah, no, she doesn't need to know that somebody used it. Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? I'll refrain for now. Refrain from what? You'd be lying if I said I wasn't. I'd be lying. Don't be! It'll be fine! Rumors are just rumors. Meaning at the bank. She is this intergalactic super police officer lady. You don't think... You don't think she's gonna go down at the bank, do you? Oh, please say keep your helmet on! Oh, I hope nothing bad happens to her. Now, Hiko, welcome to the stream. Welcome back. How you doing? You been lurking because you've been away? What is this game? Oh, well, you know. Cyberpunk bartender action. Uh, sort of, uh... Metal Gear... Blade Runner-inspired game. Where you serve drinks to people and listen to their life stories, and it's... No, it's just... It's just a nice, relaxing time. This is a game I'd like to play to just relax, if I wasn't already streaming it. I'm so glad I picked this game up. I was always interested interested in it from the first time I saw it. Nuiki's coming back to Master Quest. You're, you've been playing Ocarina of Time Master Quest? You feel like a fish out of water? It's not easy. Especially on the 3DS one. You take extra damage, huh? Visual novel bartending. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors. Persona? Breath of the Wild. Oh, right. I forgot. They also called that Master Quest. They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear of mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Ah, oh, everyone's on edge. Must be tough. You can only imagine how much crime and messed up stuff happens in the city every day. Here I am, safe in this little bar, away from it all. Imagine if at one point in the story, like, somebody breaks in and tries to hold me hostage? I kind of want that to happen now. And and, and, and say saves me. Oh. You love the solid snake voice over I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm doing that voice because she reminds me of a character I voiced in the last game I played. It was kind of like this, actually. Ah, Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap from my ash is just alerting the guards. Ah. Master Mode. Yeah, yeah, Breath of the Wild. I never played Master Mode in Breath of the Wild. I always thought I'd save it for a stream, <laughs> but I also worried, like, well, before, back when I was starting out streaming, it was a already way after Breath of the Wild came out, so I didn't think people would watch it. Now that- now that I've got- I got people who, who like to hang out. And I, I thank you so much for hanging out, by the way. I never thank you guys enough, I feel like. <laughs> if you'd like to see me play that, I'd be glad to. I absolutely loved Breath of the Wild when it came out. I- while playing it, I would have thought for sure I would have rated it like 10 out of 10. New favorite Zelda game. As it went on, the magic kind of lost a little bit but I still loved it it's still definitely in my top three Zeldas maybe four top you know it's up there ah thick um so yeah I know you're worried but I have to go there it's orders from the higher-ups tell me something if somebody came after me do you think they stand a chance no way number seven six five destroys She's the best at what she does. Say, I believe in the you that believes in you. You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. 
that make you feel safer? Yeah, at least carry a gun, please. Or at least like a Gundam. D just get in a Gundam, you'll be safe. Hell yeah. Maybe. I'll tell you what, after I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can get, vent all your frustrations. I'm sorry, this bar doesn't serve ice cream. All right. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming, Cell? Cell, say. Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then. Take care. See QC. Bye. Got a CQC to stay hydrated, but it's just doing its job, man. I do need the drink. We're talking about drinks. Huh. She's such a worry ward. That means she cares about you. How about somebody care about me? <laughs> now he goes every day, wishing more and more about streaming. The interactions are so fun. Wishing more and more about streaming? Like, starting up streaming yourself? Hey, I'd, 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 I'd give you a follow now, Hiko. Check it out, you seem like a cool person. Nuiki borrowed your friend's copy of Dark Souls to beat it. Switching between Dark Souls and Breath of the Wild. That's what Brad's been doing on his stream, sorry. That's his thing. If you guys don't know my friend Brad in the chat right now. One of the fun little things he does is switch between two games. Like, real time during the stream. It's a silly mechanic, but sometimes it just works so well. Like playing Dark Souls with a Link mod installed. Like, oh, what happened to Link? What part of Breath of the Wild is this? I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? The boss smells like bacon? This is important information. Gotta write this down. Thank you, Say. Uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? And it must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. Yeah, you know, uh, flannergite smells like bacon. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing and all that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? Yeah... To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on. I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say that the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Why does that always feel like the music playing is appropriate to whatever conversation is going on? It's almost like they have a system. They probably don't. But what if they had a system where the dialogue changes on the mood of the scene set by the music? That would be some nuanced stuff. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. Saibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Saibatsu! I miss the best friends. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Soundtrack's OP. It's coincidental. That's the power of my stand. Um, play me a song. On the piano, man. It has the power to create an accurate soundtrack to whatever situation it deems necessary. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. You better also like your life. Anarchist stuff goes down, you might get hurt. I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately, they seem... restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. <sighs> Big mood. Politics. Oh, it's so... Uh... This is why I have a no politics policy, because I don't, in, I'm not involved in any of that stuff. And I know, like, people say, oh, you're supposed to, it, it, it impacts your life. It's less about that, it's more like, I don't know, I just don't want to get depressed by it all. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. Same. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, You're such a simpleton that you'd never give them the wrong message. But his it's his intention that counts. Simpleton. Colonel sounds like a butt. Uh, uh, oh. It's okay, say. 
it's okay, say. I respect you. Oh, look at her face, though. I cannot pet enough. Uh, okay. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla! Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Also, um... Uh, good morning, if anybody is woken up from lurking. <laughs> Hello, robot, robot, questionable robot waifu. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have killed wild with that one. <laughs> Don't worry. She's an adult. As much as an adult a robot can be. Um, no, yeah, she's actually a robot, um, prostitute. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Ahem. It's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. Looking cool, Joker? Hey, now. <laughs> Don't worry, she's not here on business. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Okay. She's an adult, it's fine. Well, I mean, like, it's... Yeah, you're right. She's probably only a few years old because robot. It's a gray area. What is that? Is that Jessica from Dragon Quest VIII? You know, I... After, um... After playing Hero in Smash yesterday, I had the urge to, like, acquire Dragon Quest VIII. So I went on eBay and I bought a PS2 copy of it. But then I was looking through my shelves earlier today... And then I realized that I already own Dragon Quest VIII for the 3DS because they ported it to that. Um, I've been doing some research and people have said that even though the 3DS version has less um, has lesser graphics, like worse graphics and the music is MIDI instead of orchestra and other kind of stuff like that they add a bunch of content and quality of life features that make it almost kind of worth playing over the PS2. So now I'm stuck deciding, like, if I ever stream it, should I play the PS2 one or the 3DS one? Because now I have both. I'm leaning towards 3DS at this point now, because if it's... if it has quality of a life stuff, then I'd rather have the stream be more convenient than... than, than, than it being... than it looking a little bit better. Check the manufacturing date. Check her manufacturing date. Or having a date with the manufacturer. <laughs> Miki says 3DS. I'm leaning towards it, so it probably would be. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Like, can I actually legally buy you one? Why, well, yes, thank you. Do you know each other? Don't tell me you've hired her once. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I have what she's had. Say, make your own drink for once. Order your own drink. Well, actually, wasn't that the last time you were here? She just, like, told me to give her whatever. Uh, I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. All right, one extra large blue fairy for each. All right. Two blue fairies are due. Please tell me something with... As much karma train as I can give. Ah, uh, yeah! Optional karma train. You know what that means. We're about to see a drunken police officer and a drunken robot coming right up. She drinks WD 40. Oh, yeah, I'll put some extra oil in there for her. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a pretty cheap drink. Only $170. Boop, pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, pop. Uh, planner giants. And then fill her up. Um, this can be says. No. Oh, can I, like, choose which one this goes to? Hold on, I'm doing this the other way around. It's large only because of the karma tree, and how about that? I wonder what this would taste like. This is like if you mixed it with like pure vodka 
age mix. Uh, D40? Is that the kind of oil you use on Dorothy? Ooh, D40. Optional Carmatrine? Optimal Carmatrine! That's how I do. You know me. Hell yeah. Two fairies. Two drunken fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. Is her hair blue? I actually can't put colorblind. I thought it was green. But how does it taste? Ah, <laughs> tasty. Jesse, what's up? Welcome to Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Whoa. Mina, thank uh, Chloe, thanks for the host. Wow, everyone's showing up today. Hope you're well. Uh, if I'm going to explain this game for um, the uh, eighth time today. Uh, this is a visual novel where you are a bartender, listening to people's life stories and pumping them full of alcohol. And you know me, I'm giving them the maximum amount of alcohol I can every single time. Hope you're doing good, man. It is. So, what's your name, sweetie? Jesse, thanks for the host. Call me Say. All right, Say. I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Say ya, Say ya, Say ya. All right, so here's the story. This is uh, a member of the White Knights. It's sort of this um, police force in this futuristic dystopia. And lately they've been working hard because riots and stuff have been happening all over the city. She needs a break from that. She comes to our bar to hang in out. To hang out and, you know, be safe. I hope she stays safe. She stays safe. This is a robot. A robot who works in the uh, adult industry. And, you know, she tends to a certain type of clientele. You want to take a, a, a selfie, would say? A say selfie? Yes, yes? Say, say! Yes, yes. Say, say! Say, say, hey! Alright, you're drunk already. Go home. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you and join me. You made sure she was a robot first, right? You ship it. Yeah? Yeah? So what's that so far? Jill and Elma, Say and Dorothy? Oh, can you feel the love tonight? During the day. Maximum uwu. Ship everyone with everyone. When Karma Trina is involved, everyone's on the same ship. Jesse remembers me playing this game a long time ago. A long time ago? Apparently five months. Yeah, I'm coming back to it, finally. Now that I'm done with the Danganronpa series. I, I think this is a good, like, in-between, I'd say. I basically played this in-between 1 and 2 and in-between 2 and 3. So it makes sense. Shipping. Shipping in a cardboard box. <laughs> wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an auxiliary motive. Oh, that's what you think. Say what? Say he's got some plans tonight. And that includes Fuckboy over there. The mouth on this lass. She's had a little bit too much, uh. vacation juice. Look, 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 look. Uh, Gillian cannot catch a break. <laughs> oh, jeez. What do you mean? What do you mean? Get him with the fuck, boy. Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, a, a Bradderfield? You learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. I mean, I knew that, but could you please be a little respectful? She's had a long day. Pat, pat, pat. <sighs> How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. And that look on your face is one of that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. She's pure. She's pure. Pat, pat. <laughs> uh, Brad is, uh, 
Brad thinks he's had enough of the lewd robot girl. Oh, she's here to stay. Dorothy's a treasure. Even if that treasure needs a little bit of polishing. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. <laughs> that... I, not even offended by the subtext. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Oh, no. Was that the... Was that the dude who was like... Adam Jensen? Oh, oh yeah! The little one with the dogs! No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. A mat? Like a welcome mat? Okay, I blame him. What would Roll say? I don't know what purpose... What, what, what job Roll would have in this dystopia. Hopefully... Still the same. Just, you know... Mega Man's sister. Cleaning robot. Super cleaning robot. Roll! You seem very perceptive, Dorothy. But I'm not too far behind. That says charm. She's not even miffed. She a pure girl. How so? How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Right. Was there a thing last stream where... There's like a robot STD that the robots can get? It's like some sort of virus? Oh. <laughs> oh, she can tell. She's got you read like a book. Your tongue is a BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium, extra flexible variety. And the most important thing your hands. They're no, lemon no. scented. What about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. Say, you know a lot about these, um... These, 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 uh, this, this class of robot. Have you... Do you? Wow. Say's a bit more complex than I thought. No one can escape the consequences of too much fun. Not even say. But your hands are the MIRD-113 of Rialta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its finger... What purpose does that serve in bed? You mind showing Jill sometime? So? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of ballistic augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of Class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned or disarmament or sent to danger zones. Oh, you know. She likes to operate in the danger zone. What are you gonna do? Let's say, say, please, you're off duty. This is a customer of mine. We're all friends here. Do not, do not send her to the danger zone. I don't know if she'd survive. Nothing. Pat, Pat. Stay's a good girl. Freaky. <laughs> bullet. Shoot him with bullet. In, in, in bed, apparently. No, I'm law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. You tell her. We're all friends here. Any friend of Jill is a friend of mine. I bring people together. Oh. oh. I want to know, though. Why go through that upgrade? A girl's got to take care of herself, you know. It's self-defense if people try to... If people try to try something. Oh, jeez. You're basically Igus from Persona 3, aren't you? Oh, we're gonna get- we're gonna have a lot- we're, we're gonna meet Igus soon enough. Well, actually, it's gonna be quite a while. Yeah, I started up a playthrough of Persona 3, uh, on Monday. See, I'm burning my bread as we speak. Yeah. And, you know, if you're not watching that... I recommend it. I'm having so, I'm having fun with that game. It's a series I love, and it's the game that I never beat, even though I started it. You know, the first game, Persona 3. <laughs> Alright, I should stop making that joke. People might start to believe I think that. They should love bullets. It's love deterrence. You remember there being a crossover art of that? Oh? Of Igus and Dorothy? No way! 
It's gotta exist, and that has implications about I guess. I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet bot I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? Wear gloves. I guess. The reason I could tell is not your default hand model, it's just your fingertips. Tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them to disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I mean, what's the difference? I have to use it every night. People like it that way. It's a kink. Well, I gotta go. Ah, yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once it's self-defense, anything more is assault. Try to get her to skirt the law. <laughs> uh, I love interactions like these. That's silly. Yeah, f for self-defense. Of course. Oh. Jesse, sorry, he's quiet. Oh, don't even worry about it, Jesse. You never have to feel bad about that. It, it, this is a game to relax by. So, you know, if, you, if you're just sitting by, grab a drink. It's the theme of the game, after all. Grab a drink, get comfy. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. Please come again. Oh. oh no. I thought she was going to take me away. Oh. Can the robots cry? Well, somebody got to tell Kibo that... He could have had a crying mod installed in him this whole time. Oh, <laughs> Dorothy, Dorothy, you think I'd be friends with someone who wouldn't be cool? Cool about that kind of thing? Nah, you're good. Say he's doing good. He would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. You'd have to do a different kind of sucking. What? If I behave well. If you if you're a good vacuum cleaner, that's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Show me sometime. What? Yeah, I didn't <clears throat> I think I recall a conversation last time that like, oh yeah, she has DNA collecting equipment, and she might be required to report things to the to, to the police if if they if they recognize a certain person's DNA or did I imagine that <laughs> the less we know the better you know more is less is more Nuiki the less they say the the more they imply about this world the, the, the more interesting it is I think read my DNA baby DNA reading tongue very prehensile intuitive also it vibrates all right, that's a little bit too much information. I just said less is more, please. Why DNA? This is a this is a dystopian future. It's probably like it probably is like if they detect the DNA of a convicted murderer who's on is on at large on the run. They're like, oh, look at that. Got to got to upload that to the police database. Uh, the car the perpetrator has been last seen uh, in the Love Hotel on Fifth Street and Main. Extra flexible joints. You really need to ask. Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Battered. Ugh. That contradicts your earlier statement. <laughs> contradicts that you were you had enough of, you had too much of this. It's gone around. She's got you under her Stockholm syndrome. Alright then. So you fancy yourself a diviner? Diviner? Reading people and all? A fortune teller? Yeah! I read at least 30% of the time! Uh, Ultra Despair Girls is half off on PS4. They have you if you want to play it. If you're a fan of the Danganronpa series. It's an interesting game. For sure. In the Danganronpa world. I will warn people that the content in it is... You know, it kind of reminds me of her. But, you know. Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from Lilim. What can you say about me, then? 
given the um, epic music that's playing right now. I must be totally cool. Let's see. Oh. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. Is it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jill. Poor Jill. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. Best voice acting, best voice acting. What are you talking about? My voice acting is terrible. What's, what's the story? Who's this guy? Yeah, ODG. U UDG not for everyone. It's still, it's still a decent game to play, I think. There's even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. Maybe a year ago, yesterday. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your fearing feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Plus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh, a dog of war. That is the ultimate betrayal right there. How can you be so cruel? Please, throw the ball. Throw it at least a couple of times. And then the corgi can go after it. The corgi. Wait, where's the corgi? I had the corgi somewhere. I, I have Detective Pikachu. No. I know that somewhere. There it is. Boop. The meme doesn't die. Did somebody say ball? Oh boy. Did I actually hit the nail on the head? And I was making this stuff up on the fly. Oh, that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. That is a better... That is a better accuracy rate than Yasuhiro for sure. <laughs> Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. A lot. Everybody. Every single person. Uh. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you let me satisfy your frustrations, I can stop for some time. Okay. Maybe later. Not on the stream. Go. Fine, fine. Bye-bye, honey. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. <laughs> oh. Getting in, getting me into almost trouble with Twitch every time. Hey, I'm down. <laughs> oh, this is silly. Uh, Jesse would try to do a female kid voice and you just can't. It's... I don't know. It's like a skill you have to unlock after leveling your skill tree enough. And Danganronpa, like, is the equivalent of grinding experience. I'd say. Hey, you gotta voice 16 kids or so. 15 or 16 or whatever. You gotta get this much practice in. What is sexual frustration? Oh, Celeste must be lucky to not know what that is. Can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> or can't blame a modified robot with bullet hands for trying. Just buy a balloon filled with helium. Oh yeah, and then you can you Ooh, can sound... Like this. It's easy. Yeah, see? Uh, let me let me take another breath of the of the helium. How about this? Do I sound alright to you guys? Do, do I sound like so, do, do I sound funny to you? Funny how? Funny like a clown? You talking to me? Are you talking to me? I don't see anyone else around here. You talking to me? I'll put you in the gabby. I swear on my mom. You guys know that there's actually a gas that you can inhale that is kind of the opposite of helium and it lowers your voice and you sound like Darth Vader? It's really cool. I need to find a video of that somewhere. Uh... Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Well, you know, sex sells. Of course it would be like a priority for people. You know, f 
focus on that aspect. Shut up, fuckboy. Gillian can't catch a break. All right, that's his new name now. It's not Lawrence. It's not Leonidas. It's not Mar Marcello or whatever. It's now Gillian fuckboy. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, warning. There is mature language in this game. Uh, everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss. This might seem random, but... You ever fought a bear? You remember the first time I came to the bar? And you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning and I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then was... Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that! That hand or that hand? And as virgin ears! Ah, oh, heck! Oh, sorry! Pitch my voice down again? C -c -c combo Breaker! Marth! Roy! Lucina! Bowser! Jumia! How's that? Uh, I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. Couldn't you just, like, put the jar upside down? I kinda just put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a French jar, too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey, Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, I've had friends who've gotten hands and fingers stuck in various pieces of furniture. Much butter was used that day. Oh yeah, clever solution. Do they have butter at this bar? I guess it might sell some some snack foods. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. Hey. Oh, yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. That that incident, the helmet yesterday, that many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Ah, uh, boss really likes to stick her body parts in places where they don't belong, don't they? Doesn't doesn't she? Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Comic relief. Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. <laughs> oh, wow. Huh. Very simple. Then there was the incident with the TV. What? You got stuck in a TV? Go to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Got transmitted over the airwaves. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled a Z and S better. But those are completely different letters, though. Persona 4. Ah, uh, she tried to go to the Shadow World. Uh, there was a... There was a, I, There was a bear talking on the TV. I tried to fight it. It sounded like some sort of... Some sort of mascot character. Bear Sona! Don't mind me. I'm just Teddy. <laughs> Wait, wrong bear. There's a slight distinction between my Teddy and Monokuma voice, I think. I'll let you guys know when I play Persona 4 just how different that is. Monokuma is more of a mocking voice. <laughs> and, uh, Teddy is more like a, a lovable dude who's just trying to have a fun time. Right, Sensei? You pay this much. Nope, that's too low. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's on to something here. <coughs> yes, she is. She's on to a pay deduction. Now, go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think that she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. <laughs> I want so much to believe. Hey, look at that. Got so much money today. Everything will turn out alright in the end. Don't worry. Wow, I got $300 for ad reassurance. That's a good result. Ooh. Right. $800 has been charged to my account to renew my membership for Shiny Fingered. Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. 
ha happy not birthday. What? What does that mean? Am I getting hacked? Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's my lock screen. One of my mini pictures of me and the boss. Um. Uh, we're a bit early to end the stream, but I. I don't want to like start in the middle of the day. Next time I stream. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? <sighs> what can I do for like 30 minutes? Maybe check out the stuff on the phone? Oh wait, it's still the game, huh? That way I don't have to read all this at the beginning of the next stream. Dangerous opinions. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's, what's going on in the ongoing saga of the Miki concert? Was it, is it, is it Damien and Alma? I wonder. In the last thread. No shit, oh wait, I read this already. Oh no, yeah, I read this already. Yeah, yeah. Hey Brad, look. She's your childhood friend? It's just like one of my Japanese animes. Otacons on this. Clearly. Alright, Alice Rabbit 3. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was just the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems too hard to top. Maybe more leaks? Sounds unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't just wasn't really Alice, but some, just an epic prank? Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? Not me. You're right, though. It might be someone else. We'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right. If only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice threats piss me off. Fucking Issa Labs. Huh. What if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? This threat is closed. Yeah. Dangerous hacker. I, I do wonder how much of these forums and articles are involved with the people we're talking to every day at the bar. Okay. I just remember that she has a best boss, like, wall scroll. She was a little bit obsessed. Just a little bit. I ship it, though. Weenie's gotta do the dishes. Bye, y'all. Have fun in the last 30 minutes. Alright, Weenie. Have a good day. Enjoy your, enjoy your chores. Get those dishes clean. You know, I bet Jill has to clean the dishes. Actually, the, the boss just told me to, so that makes sense. The augmented eye. Alice Rabbit might be Akira. <gasps> is it? Is that you, Anna? Alice Rabbit might be a Kira Miki fan. And who isn't? By Lana Smithy. Everyone loves Kira Miki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what's my proof for this not so wacky theory, and well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns! This is an easy one. You just. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. Oh! They hacked the website! That's you, Anna. You're a hacker! What do you have what do you have against this new site? Did it reveal something uh, one of your secrets, huh? You wouldn't believe this shocking Kira Mickey secret. By Kimberly Lavayette. Today we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What is her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss the exclusive interview, only on the augmented eye. Contact block on your region. I guess I missed it then. Uh, you know what, Jill? You gotta, you gotta like read. You gotta go find a website that posts these articles for free. Totally. Prime up five percent this month. Five hundred percent. Prime is up five percent this month. Officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. Mega Christmas? Oh, how many presents do you get for that? Hell yeah. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. And a secret out. She's actually a bat. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They'll murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. 
this mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Jesus. You know, things are messed up in the world when Christmas isn't even safe. Oh, oh, oh. Jesse's, Jesse's filling in for Santa, huh? It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Thanks, Jesse. Don't concert. Oh, I already read these. Yeah. All right, well. We can go shopping, I guess. What can I, what can I possibly want? Ooh, this is one of the- this is that cat thing that, like, raises their hand to bring good luck. They say these things bring luck, but its paw is broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Yeah, that's probably a superstition about that. You break the hand, and you lose all your money instead. Jesse comes once a year, because he's Santa Claus. Oh, wow. Mrs. Claus getting stingy. <laughs> uh... Uh, poster for the cutesy game about a pink-haired witch flying on a broom. Little Witch Academia? Cracks and Darwin. Hey, is there a... Don't tell me there's, if there's a Gundam around here. Maybe a, uh... Maybe a model kit? Joker Cyclone. Just a fan. PC9X. Hey, that's a reference to the... Turbo Graphics, I think? Or at least the MSX. Yeah, let's go buy a video game. Oh, that's expensive. Maybe not. Okay, we're Mickey Banner, Mulan T. She does collect... Oh, no, she does collect alcohol. Let's get one of these. Shoulder... Soldier Massager. Well, you know. Maybe Dorothy can notice that Jill is, um... Less frustrated. What am I implying? What is this game doing to me? I should save some money, but also video games, though. Alright, I think I should save the rest of my money. But video games, though. I think we bought enough. <laughs> I think we bought enough. But also, there, we could buy some posters, though. Movie poster. Night of the ID Snatchers. Police mockumentary. Dude, that's a reference to Snatcher and Police Knots. Gotta have that. We're gonna make... We're gonna make... Jill's apartment. So, so nice. Uh, this looks like a song we can play at the bar, so yeah. I think I have spent all my money. Oh, we gotta save some. How else can she get another subscription to Shining Fingered? Mulan tea. It's made of Mulan. It's just made of, like, ground-up copies of Mulan on DVD. Always save money. I'll save this much. We have a game system now. I think. I don't know where that would be. We got Karamiki posters. We got alcohol. It's okay. It's okay. You save this much. Can we actually play? What? Now I'm glad. Hey, I guess we're doing this for the end of the stream. Play Model Warrior Julianne? Y yeah. Whoa. It's lovely punishment! Justice will be there! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Hey, Jules. Alright, what is this? Press enter button. X to shoot. Arrow key to move. Oh! Oh, this is... Whoa! Talking about cat girl without salad. I got this. Hey, look at that. Perfect way to... Ooh. They know it was a bullet hell. I'm not up to speed on my two hoos. Ooh. Can I play with the gamepad? Whoa. Ha, ha. This is super cool, though. I'll try to last as long as I can. Ah, ow. I say as I get hit. No. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 God damn it. That? Is that? That's, that's just her clothes, right? Game over. Want to try again? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get a controller. Maybe it'll work. I don't, I don't know if I have a controller anywhere near here. Damn it. I don't have that slime controller. I put it that away. Whatever. We'll play once again, and I'll, like, really, really concentrate with the keyboard. Sounds like a Pokemon. What was that noise? 
Don't worry about it. You ever you, you guys see the latest video from Pro ZD? When uh, your mobile games sound suggestive? I'm not gonna quote it. Although I've, I've implied many things on stream today, so maybe I will quote it. Like when you're playing a mobile game, and all of a sudden the sound comes out like, oh, that, that's a death sound. I'm finished. That's a defeat quote. Are you satisfied now? That is a cutscene. I know sex. That is the name of the dragon I'm fighting. Let's see, look, it, it's, its name is I Love Sex. <laughs> uh, and it is satisfied now. Well, glad I could satisfy you. <laughs> My favorite line. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Hey, go play Ace Attorney 4. I'm basically Apollo Justice. I'm fine. Oh god, oh god, oh god. It, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. <sighs> God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Oh, oh. Is there an end to this game? I'm gonna play this until I like see if there's a boss or something. Thirty minds. We've we we we've, we've been influenced. We're we're drunk, go home. I can't drink my water right now. <sighs> oh, there is a boss, but you never finished it. Are there multiple levels, or is it just like you play this whole thing until you reach like a boss, and then like, that's the whole game? I'm still enjoying it. I'm still enjoying it a lot. How did I not get hit there? I like bullet shooters. Bu bullet shooters. I like to shoot shmup games. I don't play enough. And I feel like there's a like a Darth of 3D bullet bu shmups. Bu I keep trying to say bullet shmups. Now 3D shmups, kind of like in the genre of Star Fox. Like every time I see a Kickstarter for a game, it's like, oh yeah, it's it's inspired by Star Fox. It's always this this open world or like space simulator. I mean, it makes sense. It's cool. Those games are cool. But sometimes I just want to like fly around in a in a set path and just shoot stuff, like experience a story unravel as as the level goes on. That's what I loved about Star Fox. That's why Star Fox is one of my favorite games. Mups. Okay. 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 One one more though. One one more though. Uh, is this a cat girl? I can't really tell from this sprite. I'm finished. Are you satisfied now? That's cutscene. All right, well, you know, well, you know, if I'm quoting the rest of the video, I'll just like quote the beginning of it. How about I just quote the whole video? I'll just steal Pro ZD's content. Okay, enter scene. Man is playing gacha game on his cell phone. All of a sudden, sound comes from phone. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! What is that? Oh, I, I just played. Uh, this is my uh, game. Um, I, I played three Ultra Bar Arrives cards at once. Um, that's just the sound it makes when when I play it. Oh, okay. Arr! What was that? That's just the just the, the, that's just the death noise. I'm finished. That's a defeat quote. Are you satisfied now? That's a cutscene. I love sex. Okay, now he's just... No, no, no. You see, that's the name of the ice dragon I'm fighting. See? You hear me now? I love sex. Okay, now I hear it. Yeah, you're right. Finish me! All right, nobody clip that. Because, uh, you know, uh, Pro ZD is going to, like, sue me. There's only room for one! Funny deep voice Asian man. I do wonder. I do wonder about Pro ZD's vocal range. You know, 
as someone who also plays games and voice acts while doing so. I've been catching, um, ProZD has a Let's Play channel called Push but uh, Press Buttons and Talk. And they, they too play the, um, Ace Attorney games, the trilogy. ProZD has like a super deep voice, dude. I can imitate it, sure. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, hello, I'm ProZD. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, my name is Sungwon, uh, please don't mispronounce it. And if you misspell my name, I will block you on Twitter. Or how about I go like, Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier, welcome to Six Nights at Cherries. I could, 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 could Frozy do you do like a, like a Dorothy voice? Karen Mickey! Okay, I'm, I'm clearly not getting anywhere with this game. I'm kind of just like stalling for time. I think after the next time I die, I'll probably just like... I think I'll probably end the stream. It's almost three hours. Celeste is dying. You like my you like my vocal stylings, huh? Six Nights at Sherry's, the newest game. I'm surprised that they aren't really making any more Five Nights at Freddy's games. They, weren't they making a movie? Actually, wasn't that a thing? Did that ever happen? Is it even relevant anymore? I feel like at this point they'd probably make a Fortnite movie first. <laughs> and I was watching Markiplier earlier. Uh, yeah, I used to watch so much Markiplier. I've seen him in real life once. Um, it was at like, uh, I think I've told this story on stream before. It was at like, a, uh, I guess I'll play again since I'll do something while I, while I talk. Um, back when the Game Grumps, Barry and Ross were, well, they're not the Game Grumps, but they were affiliated with the Game Grumps at the time. Back when they were doing that playthrough of Pokemon Art Academy, um, for charity, they ended up printing out the art pieces they made and selling them in an art gallery. They, they rented out an actual art gallery in LA. So me and my friend Justin like drove over there for the gallery event. We had an opportunity to meet, to, to meet quote unquote the artists. But the, the, the running joke of that series was that they were using Susie's copy of the game, Susie being Aaron's wife. So Susie took credit for all the art, and then Barry and Ross were dressed up as waiters. It was funny. It was funny. And uh, Markiplier was there, because Markiplier's a friend of the Grumps. Um, I saw him. He's shorter than you'd expect. For such a commanding presence he has on stream. He's like, basically my height. Da 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 da. Ba, 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 da. I was standing a good like six feet away from him. I didn't talk to him. He was busy talking to other people. But you know, I have, I can I can actually say I've seen him in real life. What's my height? Well, I'm a chicken, so I'm like two feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark Flair is two feet tall. Sure. I'm I'm five seven. I think it's pretty average. Pretty average for, 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 for a chicken. Yeah. It's weird because... Uh, people's... For the longest time, I thought it was 5'6". That's what the doctor says. Then again, I don't stand up straight when I get measured. I probably do it wrong. Because then people around me say, like, Oh yeah, I'm 5'7". But like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm taller than you. Maybe they, 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 I don't know, maybe my doctor's been doing it wrong this whole time. Sylveon's a gremlin. You mean you're adorable, that's what. Tiny and compact. Just like Dorothy. Wait a minute. That has implications. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah yeah. 5'7 uh, 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 gang. All right, I, I I don't know. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just talking about like height now. No, oh, yeah, I think I think I think we'll just uh, end that here for the night. Talking about random stuff now. I like talking about random stuff, but I'd at least like to make progress in the game while doing so. I was just stalling for time with a little mini game. I wasn't even paying attention. All right, okay. 
Well then, it's fine. Hey, how many catchphrases did I just say? All right, okay, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's do the ending thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's do the ending thing. Just after I do this. Yeah! Yeah, you like that? Here's in Valhalla music for the ending. I should- I should just keep using Valhalla music for the ending. Why don't I do this more? I should, like, swap out the music I use, like, way more often than I do. Anything from Valhalla is gonna be a very good contender. Yeah! <laughs> uh, I'm so glad to be playing this game again. I missed it. I missed it a lot. And I'm glad that people would, could show up and hang out for a bit. Yeah, it's very relaxing. It's a good start to everybody's weekend. I know if I'm playing this on a Thursday night, that tends to mean that people are watching this on Saturday morning on YouTube. So it's a nice little relaxing Saturday morning video, I hope. I hope it's been. So thank you everybody for being here. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for being cool people, clucky people. And I forgot something. Just got CQC'd. Oh. Oh, you like to toss my salad, huh? Well, consider my salad tossed. So is that a toss? Uh. Yeah, I, I promise to be playing this game more often. I'll put it on as one of my weekly games, probably. It's just, just as something to, like, keep you relaxed and, and it's something to enjoy. And, uh, especially now that I'm don't officially have a voice acting game on my to play right now. I mean, I'm playing through Yakuza 0 and Persona 3, but those have voice acting for their own for 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 most of the, for, for most part. Actually, no, Yakuza 0 is a voice acting game because I have to dub the Japanese. Oh well. Oh, stay tuned. Uh, if you would like to see me play more of this or any other game, you can give me a follow if you haven't already on Twitch to catch me live and not Mixer. Not gonna use a mixer unless I have an actual reason to. Um, you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to catch missed VODs or any video that of a game you'd like to see me play that I've played before in the life of time. And follow the Twitter for updates about the stream. Fun stuff. If you're on Twitch, you can also check out the Discord. There's a link. Um, thank you for the end command, Sylveon. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Everybody, if you need to go to sleep, I will let you. I'll keep you up not too late. Uh, and whatever you do, drink in moderation and stay clucky.